Hello, I'm Ari Tuonen from Road Cloud. Uh, Road Cloud is a connected car data platform. We are currently responding to customer attraction and heading to Germany with the help of A-Round. So I've been working for road friction estimation for 15 years. Road friction is needed, for example, in the automatic emergency braking systems to calculate the braking distance. The technology was first developed as a driver support system, but it has evolved to uh, enabling technology for autonomous cars. Uh, so what we do, we collect data from moving vehicles and create road and traffic information database. For example, we can give a proactive warning for an autonomous car that is approaching a dangerous traffic situation. I think we all agree that even human drivers do not adapt well to different road conditions. It can be difficult to detect if there's black ice on the road. And indeed, human errors in traffic accidents are well tolerated, but we will not accept that a robot car breaks too late on a slippery road. This is also an important liability issue for the car manufacturers. So why this haven't been done already? First, the data belongs to the vehicle owner, but they do not have access to this data, and also single car data is not that valuable. Meanwhile, OEMs will have access to this type of data, uh, but can they monetize it just like that? For example, a normal car in Europe drives only one hour per day, so this instrumentation is too expensive to be installed in all cars. Secondly, are the OEMs really willing to go for the service business? Are they ready to give incentives for the fleet owners for their data? So currently, there is no raw data provider uh, coming from the cars. And this is where we jump in. So what we do, we install a specific instrumentation to a fleet of commercial vehicles that drive day and night, up to 20 hours per day. We stream the data wirelessly to our cloud database. We apply advanced data analytics uh, to this massive data set. And uh, we can refine new information products from this data set without adding any new hardware. And we can provide easy access for the data for our customers. Uh, currently, we scan around 12,000 kilometers per day in Helsinki. We have data orders for over 100,000 euros. And uh, we have customers from several different segments, including government organizations, road weather forecast company, and we have a premium German OEM as a paying customer. So this is our core team. Uh, uh, we have experience in, in service business, big data, cloud computing, and vehicle engineering. We have a boot today, B40. Be there and enjoy our real-time data coming from our fleet. Thank you. Kito Sari, any comments or questions? Can you tell us a little bit more about the economics? Like how much does it actually cost you to get one of these devices in? How much does it cost to run? And how valuable is the data per kilometer, per 10,000 kilometers, whatever? Yeah, we all the time work with the hardware to, to make it cheaper. The most expensive component is the optical road sensor. It's uh, electronics are manufactured in China, but we still need to assemble those by ourselves. We're going to outsource that. Then we need to read the canvas of the vehicle. And we have, of course, a, a GPS, a GNSS system for the position of the car. And we have a radio modem for the data transmissions. So those are the components that we need. But this optical sensor is still the most expensive one. And so what, what sort of order of magnitude are we talking in terms of cost? How much per car? Hundreds of euros. And, and what's the sort of payback? What would you imagine the payback period is on that? Like, How valuable is this data? What will people pay for it? Uh, we, uh, it's difficult to evaluate the revenue because we have so many uh, possible customer segments right now. Uh, I, I think for the payback for the hardware is, is pretty quick. That's why we install this only for the cars that drive a lot. That's why it pays back quickly. If, if the car drives only to, the, to your office and back to the home, it's not valuable for us all. They need to operate early in the morning to help the road maintenance to prepare their actions. And what's the incentive for them to share this data? So how does that work, that part of the equation? Uh, the fleet incentives. Uh, they get a, basically a fleet tracking, and we have analyzed some, some accidents for them to to know exactly what happened over there. So we have this kind of incentives for the fleet owners. So you don't pay them? Not currently. But they usually pay for the fleet tracking system, like 30 euros per month, and they, they get currently this for free. 
What's your long-term vision for this company? Where do you see it going in 10 years' time? Yeah, we'd like to really be a connected car data platform that uh, other companies can build uh, their products on our, our data. Um, we, we might even buy some data in and be as a data broker for connected guard data, but this is where we, how we start. We, we have our own specific instrumentation that is ve very valuable and, and, and we can sell directly this data. We are not planning to sell this, these warnings directly for the consumers like drivers. We leave this for the other companies who can build on our data. You mentioned a little bit about how you replace fleet tracking systems. So how do you think about those companies potentially being interested in this market? Or is that not an issue? Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, you mean the possible exit companies? Yeah, of course, automotive OEMs are interested in, in this kind of technology in general. Our optical sensor is in interesting for the tier one suppliers. Like it could be later integrated into the vehicle component, like to the headlights or windscreen of the vehicle, uh, maybe together with the LiDAR sensors or radars of the car. Also, uh, data incentive co intensive companies like, uh, like here, uh, who delivers the, uh, traffic information and, and Google and Apple and, uh, and Media Mobile. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Ariane. That was Road Cloud. And from Finland, we jump direct to Africa.